on waking up to your black skin stretched across the television set. In the summertime, I feel cookouts and mangoes and sidewalk chalk and your cousin's after school softball game. In the summertime, I feel ants and pavement and sirens on pavement every day, half past 1230. In the summertime, there is routine. The sirens usually come right before the sun showers, so the rain can wash away the enmity. Anomaly, they will call it, to the wind mostly. Protection, they will yell to listening ears. While the collective waits in the shadowy stillness, Noise falling upon dark holes in vacuum, licking our wounds and summoning spirits out of the sunken, reveling in the indelible. You cannot separate them from you. In the summertime, it could be your baby brother or sister or mother whose martyred skin is stretched across the television set routine. You are expected to breathe while your skin is stretched across the television set. You are expected to place sorrows tastefully on canvas and set it to song. Routine. You are expected to taste the mixture of vinegar and salt while speaking of gratefulness. In the summertime. I feel sourness and still drink lemonade. Atlas. Stop telling me of my strength. Instead, say that sometime the world will offer scraps and glass pieces and dimly lit bulbs. Tell me that life is tricky. Tell me that God's will is imperfect and brokenness abounding. Tell me that we are all made up of fragments, rigid, residual memories and glimpses of agape. Stop telling me of my power. Instead, say that things fall apart and unravel. Tell me that my world can stop with a daunting cruelty that sets other worlds in motion. Tell me that I am not Atlas, nor should I be. Tell me that I can still bask in the sun with eyes sunken, spirit uneasy, and heart wandering. Reincarnate, I look for you everywhere. In the lingering eyes of unknowns shuffling in and out of the train car. In the tender smile of the chaplain whose skin is your kin. In the patrons on 125th buying shea and black soap. In the salon with women in chairs, having great crowns primped and pressed. In the hand that brushes by. In the blank stare of lonely strangers. In the shopkeeper who tells me to iron the dress before next wear in my moleskin notebook as I reincarnate, in the consistency of life's rhythms and its mundaneness, I look, hoping that one day I will find you, eyes half closed, head tilted, laughter elevating to the heavens. In the home that we build. In the home that we build, Grapevines will scale the wall on their way to the skylight. A breeze, bounding between the Blue Mountains and Peak Micaiah will blow consistently. It will feel like the ocean and city and sand with no seams and skyscrapers that are make our necks cranes. In the home that we build, the kitchen will be a garden filled with bountiful leaves, punganat and plantain. Uncle's espresso machine will sit nestled in the ferns, and the forbidden rum cake will loom behind unsuspecting corners. In the home that we build, we'll use a sauna to liberate our minds and pores. In there, we'll speak unfettered, knowing that the heat and pressure is cleansing. It'll remind us of a bathhouse or a rainforest or a womb. In the home that we build, the walls will know my mother. Her smile will send cascades of light through the blinds. Her laugh will mix with the trickle of water from the faucet and her spirit will saturate into all that is good. In the home we build, brick will lay as a symbol 
but what the heart always understood.